Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to code the injectors. In, actually, I won't show how exactly to coding them because they are already coded. But I will show them the, what you have to do if you want to replace the injector and how to fill in the code and where you have to do that. So my car is Vauxhall Signum. It's quite dark in here, so we'll use the torch. So the main thing is about the injector. You can see or no? Come on, zoom it. Focus. So. As you can see, there is a two types of codes on. For the longest code, that is the part number, which ends with the 159. And the other one, other one is the, 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 the injector code, which you have to uh, fill in in the Opcom or whatever, whatever uh, software you're using for the programming. So the other thing is the you have to know the which is which number. So normally all uh, cylinders they are starts from the timing belt side. So the, the the count this is time timing belt side. So that means that from the timing belt start counting from the one up to the how many you got. So the first one, second, third, and fourth. So I just. So the code of the fourth, it starts from the, it starts with the, come on, focusing, so it's BII, -I. and I will show where, it, where is that code in the uh, Opcom software. So I'm sorry about the mess around the car, because it's still repairing. So of course you first you have to open the uh, Volkscom or Opcom software. They are both similar. Just the names are changed, I believe so, because the Volkscom is for the Volkscells and the Opcom is for Opals, but mainly they are they got the same ECU unit. So as I'm using the tablet, it's a little bit sluggy. That's why I have to wait a little bit more. Uh, it's important to make sure the all codes match to the to the the right cylinder. Otherwise, they won't work properly. As in my case, the other day, I thought my injector is faulty, and I was planning to replace it, but. Then, when I uh, removed all the returning pipes off, the, the fuel returning pipes, and I checked the codes, apparently the, in the garage, the last time when my car was in there, they uh, mixed, it, mixed it up, the, the, the all injectors, so, and they didn't code them, which made the car, car running not smoothly and uh, sometimes came up the black smoke from the back so mine is 2006 signals signal or vector whatever you other so the next you have to go in engine you have to know the engine engine type of what, what the engine type you got mine in my case is the z19 dth d TH, DT, and I'm not sure about the detail, but DT and DTH, they're using the mainly actually the same nozzles, same same injectors. So you're going in to your correct the engine code. It's quite simple to decode them. I don't know, in the garage, probably they are charging you quite a lot of money for that but actually you can do it by your own by yourself 
as I like the repairing the cars, my own cars, I'm not doing that in a garage, so I'm not a professional mechanic, but I'm learning and I'm doing the things on my own, and this is the what I did as well. So when it's all is loaded, you have to choose the programming. And when it's the programming, there is the replace the injector. Click on, and as you can see, there's the all codes. And as I said in my fourth cylinder, there started the BII, so that's the correct one. Before I had to mix them up with this place. So, and anyway, if you're scared to change the code, don't be scared because you can't actually put the wrong code in if it doesn't match. As you see, mine ends with the S, I will just add the I and change. You see, there's the coming up the error message because it doesn't match. And if it's error message coming up, you see there is the I. You press OK and replace the engine. The, the injector there's come back to the as supposed to be on the S. So you can't put the wrong digit in. So that's uh, pretty much it about the coding. Every time when you checking the code, you have to replace it and change it. Simple as that. So, thanks for the watching and uh, see you in the next videos. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe. Bye.